it up there. You want to get in the truck? Hey y'all, it's Megan. Welcome it's back. Good. Glad you're here. Glad you joined me today. We're planting some corn. Andy's going to be doing most of the talking corn. today and telling you what we're doing because this ain't eating, well, not sweet corn, I guess. Yeah, it's it's eating sweet. corn, but it ain't sweet corn that we're planting today. And uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. Um, this is a, really an old timey planter. It's an antique. Um, I hope it's going to work, but uh, we're going to find out. My first few rows we're going to plant here is going to be sunflowers. Actually, I'm not. It's not going to be corn. I'm just kind of trying out the planter, and I like flowers. I like sunflowers, so we're going to plant the top few rows here, closest to the road, and sunflowers. So, <coughs> inside these old type planters, you've got plates that, uh, for whatever type of seed you're planting, this is you know you use a different type plate, and. Uh, Inside it right now, I've got a corn plate. And I told you earlier, I'm gonna be planting sunflowers. Well, I just tested it. This is putting out way too many sunflowers. So I've got to change this plate out, which all it does is go in here and slip on some gears. And I don't even know that this is the right plate because there's no, I don't actually have a sunflower plate. I'm just gonna to have to use one that's uh, roughly the same size as a sunflower. So. This is actually a bean plate or a pea plate, I think. So we're gonna try it and see what it, I think it was a small, I think he called it a small bean plate. So we're gonna see how, what it'll do. Megan, if you show the camera down here, they make it see it's coming through. Yeah. You can see the fertilizer falling out there. They're not getting any. Yeah, they are. There comes the sunflowers. That's putting out a whole lot less than what it was for sure. Oh, yeah. All right. So I think that's going to work. We're going to give that a try. I got to adjust it just a tad. I want The White Hickory King, it's an old timey uh, heirloom variety. Um, this is something that's kind of sort of forgotten about. You know, people just go to the store and buy cornmeal or anything like that, and they don't have to, they don't really think about grinding their own cornmeal. If you've ever eat, fresh ground cornmeal then you will never buy another bag of cornmeal from the store and plus it's better for you because you know what's been treated with that i mean the cornmeal at the store has probably been treated it was probably roundup ready corn been treated with roundup and who knows what so anyways this is actually our first time planting it we've ground our own but we've never actually had our own crop of uh of the hickory cane sweet corn i mean uh, field corn so this is actually my first time of using this planter. It's the first time planting corn with this tractor. So this is all a big time first for me. All right, so here's our corn seed. Uh, we got the sunflowers planted. And uh, see what it looks like. Look at that. See how big that kernel is? Whoa! That's, uh, you don't typically get that with your your normal modern day yellow field corn. And I'll also tell you something about your your modern type of yellow field corn is the kernels are so hard that you can hardly even grind it into cornmeal. So, not with the uh, type of grinders we have. But, um, anyways, we're going to fill the planter up and see what we can do. That right there is probably going to plant quite a bit of this field. Um, corn typically goes farther than what you think it is. But was this corn, being that we've never planted none, we didn't have any seeds to save, and I really didn't have no seeds. I didn't get no seeds from anybody that I knew who planted it, because honestly, I, I haven't known anybody around our area to plant the old, uh, the old timey white field corn in years. So we went to Hoff's Tools and. Uh, bought a 10 pound bag of it and that's probably going to be way more than enough to plant what i'm going to plant right here so i'm not planting this whole field in it we've actually got another variety called jimmy red that we're going to plant on the bottom side of this field and it can be used as the same thing it'll just make red cornmeal instead of white cornmeal um but anyways once you plant it being in it's an heirloom you can save your seeds year to year and I mean, I remember back in the old days when I was younger, people had this stuff and uh, those seeds had been passed down for uh, probably hundreds of years. I mean, they're just over and over and over. 
and uh, like I said, it's just something that's kind of been forgotten about. You know, the homestead movement is really picking up, and I feel like in this country, but that's the one thing that I don't think people have started doing yet is planting their own field corn, and it does take some room to plant field corn. You know, you're not going to do it on like a small. Well, you've got to have a decent sized plot to grow enough corn to, to get you enough cornmeal for the year or put up enough cornmeal for the year or whatever you may want to do with it. I've seen people make pancakes out of that cornmeal. I've seen people make all kinds of stuff out of cornmeal. Cornbread is your main thing you make out of cornmeal. But, uh, and sawmill gravy. And so, oh, and sawmill gravy. I'm sorry. <laughs> and she's got a video on that y'all should check out. That's some good stuff. But, um, Anyways, we're going to get to planting here and see how things work and keep our fingers crossed that everything works like it's supposed to. Uh, so, and one more thing I want to mention is, I know y'all have not probably, y'all have never seen this field on a video, but from about halfway through that field to those trees right there was growed up in nothing but brush. We bought this land a couple of years ago and we've just now got it cleaned up to the point where we can, we can plant it. You can see there's still some roots and stuff sticking up and I, I really hope that's not going to be that big of an issue with me planting this corn and then coming back through you know as time goes on keeping it cultivated but um, anyways we're going to see what happens here and uh, keep our fingers crossed everything works good What are y'all planting? Yeah. Y'all planting some flowers too? Yeah, planting some We've planted nine rows of that uh, Hickory King white corn that I was talking about. And now I'm gonna go on the bottom side of the field and plant, I've only got about a pound of the Jimmy Red here. Um, I'm gonna show you this corn. I've never planted this personally, so I know nothing about this corn, but they say that it'll make red cornmeal and your corn bread will actually be red. So I'm pretty excited to try that, but um, I do know that we stand risk of cross pollinating here where we're in the same field. That's why this is going to the bottom side. It could still cross pollinate down there, but uh, you know, if it does, it does. I don't think it will. I've, I've done this before, but I mean, with other types of corn and I don't think they cross pollinated. So we'll see, we'll definitely know if this cross pollinates with that because we'll have ears that's got red and white kernels on them. But uh, anyways, we're gonna plant the bottom side in this and give it a try. sure if you've ever heard of that or not but it's more like an ornamental corn but it can also be ground as cornmeal too a lot of people use it for decorations in the fall come you know halloween thanksgiving and all that it's the multicolored corn that you see um we're gonna plant some of that right in the middle so yeah there's probably a good chance that we're gonna have some type of cross pollination going on in this field but it'll be what it'll be it'll all be used for the same thing so it's not going to concern me too much you see the different colored kernels there? What the? So this is more like, you can still grind it for cornmeal or whatever, any kind of, anything you would normally use field corn for. So we're gonna plant a few rows of this and we'll finally be done planting corn up here. I think we've got nine rows of the Hickory King. We've got probably six or seven of the Jimmy Red. And we'll probably have that many of this, so. Then we'll be done. I think in between rows we may plant some beans or something like that. But this is our main goal today is getting this corn in the ground. Yeah. We got our corn planted and uh, I 
had intended on planting a couple rows of beans, but this is real life and we've had a breakdown. <laughs> some reason or another the lift has quit working on this old tractor and we made it through to fix uh the last six rows of corn here that i was going to plant without picking the lift up but um i've got some hydraulic fluid leaking from up here in front on the pump and that's just the way things go you know anytime that uh that you're like rush 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 trying to get something done you can about guarantee something's going to break um We've got the planter unhooked here, and we're just going to try to try to tie, try to tie, tie up the plows and lift them up so we can get it down the road to get it back home. But that's how it goes. It's just uh, it's all part of it. Can't get mad about it. Uh, like I said, it's always going to happen at the worst times because this is the main tractor I use this time of year when it's garden time. So, anyways, hopefully we get it fixed pretty soon, and. Uh, I guess we'll let Megan finish out the video here. So anyways, like you said, that's real life. Anybody that's close by, local to us, that's good at working on farm malls, uh, give me a holler. <laughs> um, you know, it's uh, we're in a time crunch, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, it's just the way, way it happens sometimes, almost all the time, especially when you're working with old stuff. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hope you learned a little something. Get out there and plant you some corn. Um, we've got an awesome hand grinder. That's what we're going to be grinding our cornmeal with. So anyways, talk to y'all next time.